Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do my Asian Readathon TBR. If you don't know what the Asian Readathon is, I will link the video and all the information down below. Basically, it is a readathon for the month of May where you read four books based on prompts and one group book if you're interested in doing that as well. The four prompts are one book by any Asian author, one book by an Asian author or with an Asian character that you can relate to, one book with an Asian author or character that you cannot relate to or is different from you in some way, and one book by any Asian who has been recommended to you. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. One book that an Asian has recommended to you, whether that be a friend of yours, a booktuber, um, a teacher, or anything else like that, just something that's been recommended to you that is also written by an Asian. And also the group book is Little Fires Everywhere, which has also just been turned into a Hulu show. So you read the book for the first half of the month, and then there's also a watch along that is the second half of the month. So I just wanted to share my TBR for the Asian Readathon, and the first book for the prompt, any book written by an Asian. I'm going to be reading The Gilded Wolves by Roshin Chokshi, which I don't own. I'm gonna have to find it online or if a library is open or something like that, but I'm gonna put the cover here and the cover is really pretty. It's gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I did not know this book existed until like last month, but ever since I found out about it, I wanted to read it because I saw the cover and fell in love and the storyline also sounds really good. Keep me not being ready for this video. <laughs> so the second book is a book by an author that I can relate to in some way. So for this, I chose A Place for Us because it is written by an Indian author about an Indian family. And I think that's something I could relate to. So I want to read this. I also got this, um, I got this off of thrift books like months ago and I just haven't read it, but I really like the cover. I feel like a lot of these are just me liking the cover. I found it somewhere. I don't remember where exactly I found out about it, but I liked the sound of the story because I was really into like historical, not historical, realistic fiction, I guess like contemporaries at the time. And so I just bought a bunch of contemporaries and also it's a white cover, which is really cool, but I think I'm gonna enjoy this. So I will be reading this one. And the next book is an Asian book that you cannot relate to or has a character or something that's different from you in some way. So for this, I'll be reading Pachinko, which is a Korean American story that follows, I believe, four generations of Korean, of a Korean family. And that sounds really interesting to me. I read a book kind of like this for school one time and I didn't like it because I didn't like literary books at the time, I guess. And that's, definitely changed for me I think and I think now I'm like ready to read this. I've had it for a few months now. I ordered it as well with the same order from thrift books last time. So the fourth book I'm going to read is a book that's been recommended to me by an Asian and I'm not saying this is a cop-out but like it kind of is I guess. I'll be reading On Earth We're Briefly Gorgeous by Ocean Vuong. This book was supposed to be an assignment for my Asian American Studies class and it is no longer an assignment because we are all online now and they've just cut this from our exam. So I just have this book now and I did want to read it anyways, but it's technically recommended to me by my Asian professor for this class. So I'm going to use this time to read this book because I've heard really good things about it and I am also really excited to read it. I feel like it's gonna be really emotional, but I'm I'm really looking forward to reading this book. I think it's gonna be sad though, so I'm not ready for that. But I, it's been a while since I've read like a, a sad book other than like rereading The Infernal Devices. So I'm kind of ready for this. I feel like I need something to make me cry as if there wasn't enough stuff going on. And then finally, if I finish all four of these on time, I'm going to try to do the group book, which is Little Fires Everywhere. I will stick the picture here, but I did not know about this book and I did not have it on my TBR until recently as well. And honestly, I just did not have a lot of Asian books on my TBR. I just didn't know that there were this many Asian books. I honestly did not know I owned this many Asian books. Like I was looking at my bookshelf trying to fit my TBR books into this challenge and I was like, there's no way I can find books on my TBR that are Asian books. And then I found like, I found five of them actually, but there were a couple that I didn't want to read right now, like Life of Pi and stuff that I was like, okay, I'll, f I'll figure this out later. But right now I just want to like read these and then also Little Fires Everywhere if I can get to that. So that is what I will be doing for the Asian Readathon. If you've read any of these books, then let me know what you thought of them down below because I'm excited to read them, but I want to know what you guys have thought. And if you're also participating in the Asian Readathon, let me know because I want to know who else is doing this because we can all read together and it'll be fun. 
and yeah, you can participate. I'll leave all the stuff down below. Also, a fun little challenge for, I'm sorry, I'm on like a spinny chair, so I just keep <laughs> turning around. Also, a fun little thing I forgot to mention, if you want to make it more difficult, you can make sure that each of your books is from a different country of origin. So for example, for mine, my first book has an Indian character in it, but it's set in France. The second one is also Indian, but set in India, I guess. And then the third one is Korean, the fourth one is Vietnamese, and then Little Fires Everywhere. I really don't know anything about, but I don't think it's any of those, so... Or the author is not... I don't even know. But anyways, if you want to succeed at that, unlike me, because I feel like I've repeated Indian twice, but it's fine. If you want to do that, you can make sure that each of yours is from a different country, and then try to do that. So yeah, I hope you guys have fun with this. I um, hope you're taking care of yourselves. Enjoy. Let me know how it's going. I probably won't vlog this one, honestly. <laughs> Over the owls, I've realized I don't really like to vlog, and so I probably won't vlog it, but I'll probably just stay updated on Twitter or something like that. You can follow me down below, leave a comment, subscribe, let me know what you think, and yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Bye-bye. I literally always forget to do the thumbnail, and then I have to go back and do it. That's why my thumbnails suck. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you.